you know, one of the things I like about Restream are some of the free features that they offer. One of them is the chat app. Now this is a standalone app or you can use in browser and there's a lot of customization that you can do with it that I think you'll be interested in if you're an OBS user. I want to show you how you can integrate this into your live stream and also show you how you can download this for free. Listen, Restream is a great piece of software. They have sponsored this video. I do appreciate Restream doing that. I have an affiliate link down below where you can find out more about Restream. Try it out yourself. And if you like it, then purchase one of the subscriptions. I think you'll find out that it works really good if you're making live video like this or you're doing a podcast. So please click the affiliate link below. I appreciate it. Thank you. Now let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so let's set up chat for your OBS scenes and for using to monitor your chats on your various channels that you have connected within Restream. To do that, let's click on the little dots here and go to chat app. Now you can download a standalone app if you want to do that, or you can also open it inside of a browser. Uh, that's your choice. I actually prefer the standalone app. So that's what I've done is I've downloaded this for Windows. It is an executable file. Once you download it and install it, then what you will have is this app here. I've pinned this to my taskbar down here. But this is what it looks like. Okay, so you're, this is the chat area where you see the Restream uh, mascot app. I will just type in here, Hello. There we go. So this is what your chat will show up. This is the default settings this is what I currently have set up. I like this setting here. A uh, couple areas again, the chat area here at the bottom here, you have a couple options. So restream will show all of the chats for any of your platforms you have currently connected, or you can choose from the list of the platforms you have connected, which ones you want to see. So if I just wanted to look at Twitch chat, then I would just turn that on. But Restream shows you all of them, okay? That's really nice. Here, it also shows you the status of your connected platforms. Here I have one of two connected. You can see that the uh, YouTube channel is not currently connected. Also, your other area here is settings, which is very important. And you see you have a number of options listed here including the bot this is the bot one's really nice because this will allow you to connect all of your channels in chat so that your viewers say you have viewers watching on twitch and you have somebody to type something in chat on youtube your twitch viewers will then be able to see the youtube chat and vice versa that's what this bot does it's really nice you can set up your appearance notifications if you wanted to do a text-to-speech uh for instance, you can do embedding in stream, which we'll get to here in a second. Uh, you can do reply commands, which these will be custom commands. Say if somebody typed like exclamation point followage, then you can set up a co uh, command here for that or social media links sort of thing like that, which is really nice. Uh, if somebody say somebody wanted to see what your YouTube channel link was, they could type an exclamation point YouTube if you made that and have that channels uh, you know, shown in your chat. You got analytics here, which will send you to the Restream Analytics webpage. Uh, Discord, which will connect your Discord uh, to this uh, chat app. You got different filterings where you can, uh, you know, hide different chat bots. Uh, you can hide commands starting with exclamation point. Uh, you know, different chatters, you can ban them and mute them, whatever. You can do word filtering, which is really nice. Uh, say if you want to do like profane words, you don't want them in, you could use that here. So all that's built in is really nice. Now let's go to appearance. Appearance is really cool because you can change, you know, how you want this to look, including you can do compact mode. You can do, you know, show viewer counter, turn it off, uh, which will show up like this here with an eyeball here at the bottom left. Uh, avatars, you can turn them on and off. These all affect how the app looks here, okay? Now, let's talk to, about embedding in stream because this is a really cool thing. You get a URL here that you can then make a browser source inside of your broadcast software such as OBS and then copy that and make it a part of your scene. And I'll show you that here in a second. So let's go here and we'll look at all of the different settings you can do here. You got different themes, including a bunch of different games, including World of Warships, World of Tanks. You can see uh, 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 Assassin's Creed, Black Ops 4, Overwatch, all that stuff. So let's go. 
and let's do uh, eight bit. All right, so that's what eight bit looks like. You can go in and of course, change different looks here, including the chat and message backgrounds like that. I'm gonna take the chat background opacity to zero. You can scale it as big as you want. I recommend, I just like leaving it at zero or at a hundred, I'm sorry. And then of course you can set a hide message. So if uh, you know your chat's not super active, uh, you can take and set this to hide after, you know, 30 seconds, you can go up to a minute, you can go all the way up to three minutes. So default is 30 seconds. So we'll leave it there and uh, let's uncheck that. All right, so then let's we'll go up to the top. We will copy that and let's bring OBS down. I am recording an OBS right now, all right? So what I'll do is I will make a browser source, all right? And then I will copy and pay, paste the link in there for that. And then I will do a width of 400 and I will do a height of 10 AP, all right? And then now I have the link, my chat set for the settings that I set custom. So that's what that looks like, which is really cool. Now, that's one way you can use your chat. Now, let's say I want to embed my chat as a dockable source for OBS. All right. So again, let's go in and uh, I'll tell you what, I want to go back to the default for this because I like the way it looks. So I'm going to leave that as is, as the chat background capacity is zero. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'm going to turn it to blue. So let's do that. So I'm going to have that blue right there. Scales hundred percent default there. Um, and what I'll do is I will click hide messages after and I'll, I'll leave it as 30 seconds. All right. So there we go. Yep, if I can get it there. Nope, oh, close enough, 31. So here is your window. Now let's go and copy this and we'll close that. Now, you, if you go up to OBS and you go to view and you go to docs and go to custom browser docs, this is a nice feature of OBS where you can pretty much dock any browser right within OBS itself. And so I've named it Restream, the URL I will then paste in there, I will apply it, and it pops up a little browser window, which I can then slide over into OBS and dock it within the UI itself, which scales with the software itself, which is really nice. So that is a couple ways that you can use Restream Chat to display inside of OBS and you can use standalone app to monitor your chats and do all that stuff, which is a really nice little feature, all free, right? That's what's so really nice about this, that it's all free. So again, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on Restream's chat. And if you have any questions about this, then let me know, please comment below. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit the like, hit the bell for notifications. You'll have a video like this goes live. Again, thank you Restream for allowing me to use this and sponsor this video. I do appreciate it. Links down in the channel descriptions below that you can use to, you know, check out Restream for yourself. Have a great rest of your week, everybody. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.